basically, I'm buying a camera. I like, I'm so excited for it, man. Dude, I'm going all out. I'm pulling money from savings for this, okay? It's gonna be a part of my second vlog, spending like almost two grand. <laughs> I'm gonna get a gimbal. I'm gonna have all these parts right here. This is like way before the second vlog is happening, by the way, because I plan on unboxing all this stuff in this vlog. This part right here is like a week, two weeks prior to when I'm like actually filming. I really need to shave, dude. I'm still recording on my phone right now. And I, dude, I cannot wait to have this camera because it's gonna be so much easier to shoot things. It's gonna look better. The, the biggest pain in the butt for recording on my phone, right, is I have to upload all of these videos to Dropbox. And I have to go on Dropbox, on my computer, download the videos and clips off of the internet. And then since I'm recording on an iPhone and I'm not recording in high efficiency, right? Just because I want the videos to be high quality. Because I'm recording on an iPhone, that makes it to where I literally cannot open the video on my computer. So I have to go to the editing side. It's just a pain in the butt, dude. It's gonna be 10 trillion times easier to make content with this camera. And I can use it for TikTok, Instagram. Like, dude, I, my content is gonna go from here to here, bro. Right now, I am outside a five-star nutrition place. I set up I set up this table outside. I haven't had anybody sign up yet. But yeah, selling memberships is like 40, 40 degrees out here. I'm like shaking in my boots, it's so cold. If you guys were wondering, this is what I do for a living. I sell gym memberships and I sell PT and I train people. My entire life is basically the gym, <laughs> but pretty soon, hopefully this is gonna be my entire life. Your boy's grinding. I'm grinding right now. Guess what just arrived in the mail? Guess what just arrived? Your boy's camera. This is gonna be crazy unboxing, okay? Okay, so basically I'm gonna be doing the unboxing right here on my bed because there's really not any other place in my house where it's like that great lighting. Got my kitchen knife, or kitchen knife, no, steak knife. Got my steak knife and I'm going to unbox this bad boy, okay? Oh, also, always cut away from yourself. Never cut towards yourself. You can stab yourself in the chest and duh. Okay, all right, let's get this going. Okay, check this out. Ooh. All right, so this is the base plate for the camera, so that'll help me attach it to the tripod. This goes on the bottom of the camera. And then this, oh dude, check this out. Sony ZV-E10 Alpha. I'm so hyped for this. I got the uh, SD card case. It's really important. You don't want to lose your SD cards. And then I got a DD shotgun mic. And that's going to go on top of this bad boy. Audio quality. Not only is the video quality going to be good, but the audio quality is going to be awesome. So this is a rocket duster blower, basically to clean the lenses and the sensor on the camera. So that's, if you ever get a camera, you have to get something like this. I got my two 128 gig SD cards that I'm gonna put in this camera. That's, oh my gosh, I'm so hyped. So that has to have the lens then. I'm actually excited for the lens. So this is the uh, 16 to 15 millimeter kit lens on this camera. What I'll probably have to do is I got a Sigma 16 lens, uh, Sigma, Sigma 16 millimeter lens for this camera right here, the Sony zv 10 And it looks like the kit lens is like super short, which kind of concerns me. <laughs> Where did I put the knife? That's not good. Um, <laughs> Where is the knife? <laughs> Am I? Huh? Oh, there's a sharp object in my room that I have no clue where the whereabouts of it is. There's definitely a good thing. Oh, I don't even need the knife. I can just tear it open right here. All right, so this is the tripod, the Manfrotto Imagine More tripod. It's apparently, this is like one of the most popular tripods. Apparently it's really easy to use. Check this out. The Sigma 16 millimeter 1.4 f-stop lens. Now, Got it out the Amazon packages. Now we get to unbox this bad boy. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna unbox it right here. Just so you guys can actually see it. Register your product for a chance to win $1,000 Visa prepaid card. Watch me win that. Oh, dude, here it is. Here's the camera right here. And this little white package. Dude. 
Check this out. Look at this bad boy. Look at that. The ZVE-10, man. You don't know how many videos like I watched on YouTube to like figure out what's the best vlogging camera, blah, blah, blah. So many videos said the ZVE-10, bro. bro I'm, I'm so excited to have this. Flips out like that. And then look at that. I can have that screen pointed towards me whenever I'm vlogging. So it's, dude, oh my gosh. Oh, this is gonna be so cool. Oh, sec. Okay, this is a little microphone that goes on top. Uh, I'm not gonna be using this one though, just because I have the DD mic. I will try this mic compared to the DD. Obviously the DD mic is gonna be better. It's supposed to be a high performance shotgun mic. This is just a kit mic. I can't get over the fact that I like actually finally have this camera, man. All of my content is just gonna get infinitely better, man. Look at this. Weapon of mass destruction right here. This is what they used in World War II. I'm gonna unbox everything, put it all next to each other. How do I open this? I'm actually confused. Like it looks like it, it's like a box that you're supposed to slide through. I don't know, I don't know why it's, it's not sliding through. Maybe I just, oh, now it's slide. Dude, why does it take so much effort to pull it through? Small rig, you, bro, you gotta work on your boxes, man. So this is the base plate that's gonna go on the bottom of the camera, like I said, and that'll make it to where I'm able to put it on a tripod a lot easier. I'm able to do a lot more things with it, plus it's extra protection for the camera. I got a big fluffy mic now, bro. I'm gonna look like a professional vlogger, you know? People are gonna think I have like a million subs. You'll be like, dude, can I get in your video? I'm gonna be like, no, nah. like you're ugly. idiot. <laughs> dude, you know what this looks like? This kind of looks like that, um, it's like the giant robot from Incredibles. Does it not look like that? Or, oh, dude, what was that giant spaceship in the Man of Steel? One of those two. Over there. Now, I keep all of the boxes for, like, all the really expensive stuff. But, like, if I ever have, like, a shelf with a really cool items, like, for, for example, like, there are people that have shelves in the room with iPhone boxes and then headphone boxes and stuff like that on the shelf. I plan on having something like that, like, later on. I plan on making like one of those shelves and I have like all the boxes like under my bed. Okay, I think the last thing we have to unbox is that 16 millimeter lens. That's the thing that I'm second most excited about. Obviously I'm super excited about this camera, right? But extremely excited about this lens. Oh my gosh, I, the first thing I see is some Arabic, bro. Pull this out like that, super safe. My gosh. By the way, if you're watching this, I don't know a ton about cameras. Like I did, I did my research, obviously, right? I didn't just buy all the stuff just because. I do know just enough to get like the right things, but it's not like, I'm not a camera geek. I don't know like everything about cameras. Check this thing out, man. Look at that. I'm gonna stand behind the camera, see if you can see that pretty well. Look at that lens. Sigma. staring into your soul okay got the sony zve 10 right here yeah yeah <laughs> look at that bad boy you know what would have been really cool is if this like if this camera if this came with like a sticker like a sony sticker or something or like an alpha bro that would be a cool sticker to have Two SD cards right here. Then I got the next strap, I believe, I think. Got the charger cord, got the charger block, got the battery. I've got two more batteries coming in with a battery charger and I've got a gimbal coming in the mail. Got the cord for the mic, got the base plate, got the memory card case, got the Sigma 16 lens, got the cover for that, got the camera, obviously most important part. Got the rocket blower duster. <laughs> then we got kit mic and then we got the tripod. I'm gonna go ahead Charge up this battery, make sure this camera's working, up and running. I'm gonna try to figure out how to use this freaking thing. Check this out. Look at that, I got the mic on top, got the Sigma 16 lens on there. Then I got the Sony EV10 all set up, man. My content is actually about to level up. Hold up, check this out. Hold up. Look at this, man. Oh my gosh. I'm so freaking excited for this, dude. <laughs> you guys, you guys have no idea. This is like surreal right now because here's here's my phone. This is what I've been recording on. This is what I recorded my last vlog on. And now, you know, I finally have an actual camera and I got a shotgun mic, you know, this. And look, I mean, just look at this. Look at this video quality, man. Like it's so crisp. It's amazing. I've got the camera set up on the tripod right now. I literally cannot wait to shoot videos in this thing.
One thing I forgot to mention is that I can record in 4K. This is what 4K looks like on this camera. This camera's got a 6K sensor, so it downsizes it into 4K whenever I record. So it's like super, super, super crisp. I just arrived at the gym and we're gonna hit some legs and we're gonna do a little test run with this camera. We're gonna go in there, we're gonna smash it with our legs. If you don't know, my squat has always been like awful just because I never really learned how to properly squat. I've had to reteach myself how to squat three or four times now. We're gonna go in there, I'm gonna squat, we're gonna get it done. I'm about to go warm up before I go. Got my lactose tolerant shirt on. <laughs> picture button and swipe right to film a video and just do that to make sure I'd hear my music. But then what that would do is it bring down the video quality. Now I can shoot in like perfectly fine video quality without having to do it on my phone. It's just so nice, man. <laughs> front squat, yeah. The front squat, it's the worst exercise on the planet, I swear. It's kind of wacky. I need to see another set. Yeah, here, I'll go for this. How to squat with Zach. Everything looked good except for the fact you have butt wink and your hips come up first ever so slightly. So butt wink is from either A, not enough hip mobility, or B, you're not bracing hard enough. Hips coming up first, that's probably a lack of strength on the quads or you just need to work on pulling your hips through, pulling your hips forward. You want your legs and your upper body to come up at the same time, right? See, here's, here's what happens if your hips come up first. You're down here, your hips come up like that, now your back's almost completely horizontal. And for your back to straighten out, what muscles contract to make it go straight back up? Your lower back. If you're horizontal like this and you're trying to come back up like that, you're using a ton of your lower back. You're literally going to throw your lower back out or you could get literally a herniated disc. With lower weight, you go down and you really focus on trying to keep your chest up, keep your back up and come up at the same time. You know, if you want to, you can incorporate like hack squats, goblet squats, Bulgarian split squats, leg press. All that stuff is good for building strength in your quads. Thank you for listening to my TED Talk. I failed that last hit, but that's good. That's what I want. That's what I want to see. That's what I want to do. Pretty soon that's going to be baby weight and I'm going to be throwing that through the roof because my legs are so freaking strong. I'll be able to punch a hole through the earth with my legs. Dude, so as I'm squatting, there's this kid next to me. He weighs 140 pounds. He maxes out, hits 315 on squat and he's like, man, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. That's not, that's not that strong. And I'm like, dog, that is way over double your body weight. And he's like, oh, no, no, man. He's got some strength. He's gonna, that dude's gonna be strong. I mean, he's, he's pretty short too, so I, like his body is like made for squatting too. He's gonna blow up, man.
got my first weird look of the day. <laughs> hey, gotta get used to it though. Just gotta push past it. If any of you want to start vlogging, don't be afraid of that. People don't care. They're gonna go home and they're gonna forget about it. They're gonna forget about it as soon as they walk out of the door. They're gonna be like, oh, huh? wait, what was I doing? Like, bro, they literally do not care, all right? You should not care about what anybody else thinks. You do what you want to do and you'll succeed. You just gotta keep doing it. Stay consistent. Is it easy, bro? It's easy. I literally have it set up on the top. I'm, I'm, you're looking at my booty right now, for real. Dang, bro. You got better abs than I do. This guy's name is Isaac. He's the guy that can squat 315 at 140 pounds body weight. He's a really cool dude, and he was posing with me, so I'm gonna make a montage of him. <laughs> I just finished my leg day. I'm about to head to my mom's birthday dinner. That was that was a that was a really good leg day. Even though I only did two exercises, I did squat and those hamstring curls. It was a it was a pretty good day. I, you know, dude. And the cool thing about this camera is it automatically detects low light. Cause dude, I look like completely illuminated right now. It's like almost completely dark in my car. I'm gonna put a picture up on the vlog right now. This is gonna be this is gonna be a good vlog. This, this one's gonna be more motivating, more, you know, upbeat, you know what I'm saying? You know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah! So I just got at the restaurant. They're already sat down and everything, so I'm gonna go in there, I'm gonna surprise them, and I'm gonna wish my mom a happy birthday. Hello. Hey, there he is. Hey, Zach. Boom, high five. High five. Happy birthday. <laughs> Look at birthday woman right here. Hi. I'm about to have dinner with my family. Oh. About to have dinner with my family. So I'll see you guys later. Peace out. All right. So this is actually the day after uh, the dinner with my mom. I have the gimbal and the battery pack delivered. And it was delivered today. So let me show you the guys real quick. I got the gimbal right here. And then I got the battery pack right there. I'm really excited for that gimbal because I'm gonna get some sick shots with it. We're going to unbox this. This will be like a, the second unboxing of the video. I'm gonna do the opening right here. Pull these little tabs out. And I believe we just pull that up. It's pretty cool. Okay, wow. I guess we take it off like this. Oh, did I open this upside down? I think I opened this upside down. Okay, well. This is the gimbal. You can't really see all of it, but are these the batteries for it? You see how big this battery is? That's like way bigger than a double A battery. This is like a single A battery, bro, if that even exists. That's almost as long as my index finger, dude. Let's actually take the gimbal out of the package. This is the actual gimbal itself. Look at this, the Weeble S. I have never used a gimbal before, like ever. I like, I'm super unfamiliar with all of this stuff. This is like reading a new language. This wheel kind of reminds me of like an RC car remote. Like this is the steering for it. I have no clue what any of this stuff does. All I figured out so far is the tripod. Got the gimbal right here, tripod right here, batteries, which are ridiculously large. And you got the, the thing that does the thing. Huh? Is there anything else in there? I'm gonna learn how to use this thing and it's gonna be, oh wow. My hair looks awful. I'm gonna have a ton of fun with this gimbal. Man. Come on, bro. And this is the battery pack right here for the camera. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention, I went to Best Buy earlier today and I bought a camera bag and I won't have to worry about like toting it around with my hand or I won't have to worry about it being stolen or anything like that. Uh, Cause I'll have all the stuff in my bag. I'm gonna have a little bit of an up angle on this, just so you guys can actually see me unbox it instead of like me having to hunch over like this, like hunchback in Notre Dame. Ah. Cool. All right, look at this. Newer, newer, newer. I don't know how you say that. This tape is so annoying. They put it in the most inconvenient spot right there. Like, come on, bro. You know what? I'm just gonna rip this box open. I really don't care. Ooh, comes in a nice little plastic package that I'm gonna throw away and it's gonna end up in a landfill. Oh, there go the batteries. And here's the charger. I mean, I don't 
really think I need an, an instruction manual for a battery charger. I mean, it seems pretty simple enough. You put the two batteries in there and they charge overnight. All of this stuff is USB-C too. I've just realized it. I guess everything's moving away from micro USB. I've got two new rechargeable batteries right here. Look at that. So the two batteries are right there. I got this micro USB cable and I'm just gonna plug it into my wall and then I'm going to charge these batteries. It's like 1.51 in the morning, so I really gotta go to bed. I got a lot of stuff that, that I gotta do tomorrow. I hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, with me unboxing all this stuff. In this vlog, I got this camera that I'm recording with, all the stuff that comes with it, this gimbal and the new batteries, all that stuff. So, you know, I'm gonna level up my content. It's gonna be, hopefully it's gonna be as enjoyable as possible, right? You know, I don't want to make videos and just have them be boring. I'm going to try to keep all of my videos entertaining. I'm going to try to keep all of my videos, you know, easy to watch. But yeah, I, you know, really hope you guys enjoyed this opening and I'll see you guys later. Peace.